What is going on everybody? My name is Nico and welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC guide. I'm showing you guys my new Gyarados team that I've been working on currently. I just got the shiny for both Gyarados as well as Kilowattro for this team and I'm really excited to build it in game but I'm going to show you guys all the stuff you need to know in Showdown before it actually gets made in the game. So if this is your first time here on the channel and you are into competitive Pokemon stuff or Pokemon stuff in general, I make Pokemon content daily so be sure to subscribe for more videos like this in the future and also check out the Discord where people over there playing Pokemon all the time but let's get into it. So I've got us here with what I have dubbed the Quake Bombing Team, okay? Because this team features both a Gyarados with Earthquake as well as a Mousehold, obviously, Population Bomb in left, right, and center, right? So this is a super fun team that I have had a lot of success with on the Showdown Ladder and I've been really enjoying. So first up, we've got our Kilowattrel here, and it's got a Focus Sash, Competitive Nature, well, Ability, excuse me, because that's just super good if something comes in, you know, with Intimidate like an Arcanine. This Pokemon can do pretty big damage, so... Rockin' Thunderbolt, Tailwind, Protect, and Air Slash on here with 4 HP, 252 Special Attack, and 252 Speed with a Timid Nature. Very simple Pokemon, but it's just super, super nice with the Tailwind setup. Next up, we have Gardevoir. Gardevoir plays super well into Earthquake-based teams simply because of the fact that it has Telepathy, so you're able to go in and not take any damage from Earthquakes from Gyarados because of the fact that you have this ability. So it's got a Choice Scarf with Telepathy. It's got Dazzling Gleam, Mystical Fire, Shadow Ball, and Psychic. It's got Got 4 HP, two, two, blah, 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 I can't talk, two, 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 252 is what I'm trying to say. And the nature on this is a modest nature simply because of the fact we do have Scarf and we're just going to be outspeeding pretty much everything anyways. So getting that extra special attack is super, super nice. This is a fire Terra type because this just removes the steel weakness and then you're able to get bonus stab on mystical fire, which is pretty huge for this particular Pokemon. Moving on, we have Gyarados, and Gyarados is super fun to use. This is a ground-type Gyarados, and I feel like this is really, really good, especially if you wanted to maybe switch out Thunderbolt for Discharge. Could be very big for your... Uh setup here on this particular team so you could potentially run kilowattro gyarados lead with uh discharge instead of thunderbolt and then be able to tear into ground and not take anything and just have a disquake team right anyways dragon dance waterfall are the other two with clear amulet and intimidate the uh ev spread is very similar to the ev spread i've run on a garchomp previously where this is more bulky and hopefully can take more hits simply because of the fact they're running two tailwind setters in this team being kilowattro and hydragon so 252 hp 156 attack you got 40 defense and 60 speed with an adamant nature this is just a very fun pokemon to use right now i don't know how much viability gyarados is going to have long term in the format but in series one you can get some use out of it honestly i think garchomp is a simply better bring on this team but i wanted to use a gyarados because i have a shiny magikarp right so I think Gyarados fits the bill and serves a little bit different role than Garchomp, but is very similar to the playstyle that you're, you would use a Garchomp for. Anyways, Mousehold is next, and this is a pretty simple Mousehold set here with Wide Lens, Technician, Population Bomb, Encore, Protect, and Follow Me. 4 HP, 252 Attack, and 252 Speed. Very fun Pokemon, honestly. I uh, It's just a dominant force right now in the metagame. And I'm running it with an Annihilate, but Annihilate... Is really fun because a lot of Pokemon, well, a lot of players are expecting Mousehold to like do like a beat up play into Annihilate, Terra Steel here, and then beat up into this, and then you get Rage Fist really strong, right? We're not doing that here, right? We're going for Mousehold, Annihilate, and then you're just gonna Population Bomb whatever is in the way. You're gonna use Bulk Up, and then you're gonna Close Combat, Rage Fist left, right, and center to just do a bunch of damage. The EV spread is 252 HP, 12 Defense, 4 Special Defense, and 240 Speed. Uh, Citrus Berry here in a Vital Spirit is not what we want. We want Defiant, obviously. Um, really fun. I just have this as a fighting uh, Terra type. I have it as fighting. I, I really think that just getting the bonus damage on close combat. I've also rotated off and on Drain Punch into this particular set, and that could be a lot of fun as well. So I think there's a couple different ways you can run this, but close combat just does so much damage that it's kind of hard to pass it up. Finally, we have Hydreigon, and I've run this particular Hydreigon before. It's a Life Orb, Levitate, Dark Pulse, Draco Meteor, Flash Cannon, and Tailwind with a Steel Terra type, and you're running 4 HP, 252 Special Attack, and 252 Speed with a Timid Nature. Just a very solid Pokemon all around and it works very well with mousehold as like another tailwind setter you can get to follow me up so it's just a valid option it's a very very fun pokemon to use and it's very powerful right now in the current metagame so now i'm going to take it into a battle show you guys how it works and that'll be it for this video all right what do i like here i think kilowattro gardevoir is really solid here i really like the kilowattro gardevoir i think that's a really really solid bring and then i think we want 
yeah, I think this is honestly just the best play all around. Um, these two Pokemon are going to be dominant. I think bringing... Um, does, uh, does Gyarados see play here? I think Gyarados might actually be crazy here. Gyarados and... Um, I'm tempted to bring Hydreigon. I think I bring Hydreigon here. Little GLHF. So turn one here, we just go for... Ooh, I think we just Dazzling Gleam here, right? We still outspeed. We do big, decent damage. I wouldn't say big damage, but we do decent damage there. Um, I think we protect. Maybe? I don't know. Because they bring in Pelipper here, right? For sure. I want to say they bring in Pelipper here. I'm going to set Tailwind and go Dazzling Gleam again. They don't bring in Pelipper, which I think is a very silly play on their part. Uh, they go for Thunder Wave on a Gardevoir. Head Smash, that's going to knock it out, but that's okay. Uh, now we go into Gyarados, I'm thinking. Yeah, we go Gyarados here. Scizor comes out. That is totally okay. What we do here is switch out Gardevoir. We Terra and switch out. And this is our best play because now we can reset because we need Mystical Fire really to deal with Scizor. Uh, they switch to a Flying type. That's a good play on their part. Really good play. Uh, and they do get Swords Dance up, but we just double into that slot, honestly. They're going to get a decent sized Bullet Punch on us, but that's okay. What do they got? They have their own Hydreigon there. Um, we go for Waterfall and Draco Meteor. I'd very, I'd be very surprised if they run. Um, okay, perfect, perfect. Per I was gonna say I'd be very surprised if they ran Protect on Scizor. Just not a whole lot of value there. Uh, Gardevoir comes back. We go for a Dragon Dance here, and we'll go for a Dazzling Gleam. And they did use their Terra, so we're not super concerned about that. But I think we have to um, Dragon Dance simply because if they are able to knock out Gardevoir, we're in pretty rough shape um, just because of the resistance that Hydreigon has to Water type. So Dragon Dance is going to help us out dramatically here. They did lose a lot of special attack and they have no way to reset that though, which is super big. We Dragon Dance up. We are paralyzed, which is rough. They Dark Pulse. We take that though. Um... I'm okay doing the same play. As long as we don't get paralyzed, we're okay. Gyarados did good damage. They get Heat Wave off. What is the set that they're running here? And we knock out there. GG's. GG's. Very fun team, though. Very fun. I just really like the Gardevoir combo. Gardevoir um, and Kilowattral is just such a strong lead with this team that is the team for you guys i hope you all thought it was cool if you did leave a comment below let me know your thoughts and if you're going to try the team out there should be a poke paste in the comments below unless uh, well in the description below let me know uh if i forgot it because <laughs> i'm bad about that sometimes but that is going to be it if you found the video entertaining and helpful leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this in the future like i said i bring daily competitive pokemon content and pokemon content in general so a lot of fun stuff here on the channel also check out the discord with people over there playing pokemon all the time and be sure to check out dubby super good stuff and finally if you want to see more from me check out this video where i break down what you should be using against this cinder race raid event that's coming this weekend it's going to be really cool uh and there's some certain pokemon that are going to be really good against it so check that out and also check out this video where i battle with this hariyama and farigaraf trick room team that's just so fun to use on the ladder so check that out as well but like i said that's it for this one and i hope to see you all in the next one peace